So we got some new gaming phones from uh, Black Shark, the 5 and the 5 Pro. They have some pretty cool gaming specific functions, including these pop-up shoulder buttons. So it's not haptic, it's an actual clickable button, which you can then send back into the device so you don't need to feel it when you're not playing a game with a little switch on the side. You've also got some crazy fast charging in here. 120 watt, they're saying like around 15 minutes. So you know we gotta test it out. Snapdragon 870 on a 5. Snap Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 on the 5 Pro, 120 watt across both, 4650 milliamp hour battery capacity, 144 hertz display on both, 720 hertz touch sampling rate. Your camera, you get 108 megapixels on the Pro model, so the Black Shark 5 is going to start at $549. The 5 Pro is going to start at $799. We have a couple of other accessories too, including magnetic cooler, which is a lot better than just a cooler because it's magnetic. And then they've also got some earbuds, Joy Buds Pro, Bluetooth earbuds. This one is mirror black. This one is stellar black. Eight gig RAM, 128 storage on the standard five on the five pro 12 gigs ram 256 storage you can get all the way up to 16 gigs ram on the pro model this would be your base model right here so this would be the 549 usd model under the ordinary reality an extraordinary journey shall begin through the mist and the shadow i conquer with my blade and courage ultimate love and passion shall I devote for me, game is real. You get a little uh, case by the looks of it. Pretty typical get you up and running style case. We have the device. This is the five volume button on off for gaming triggers. So you still have those cool gaming triggers built in. The power button is going to be your fingerprint unlock. Look at that. Bang. Boom. So it's actually mechanical and it's just gonna flick that up and make a nice clickable shoulder button just like a game console to give you a far more comfortable grip when you're doing some gaming. It's not just about comfort. You can actually play these games better. Like I'm about to boot up Bullet Force and I'm not very good at Bullet Force, but if you give me the shoulder buttons, all of a sudden I'm like not dying every two seconds in Bullet Force bullet for so this looks like an rgb led or at least it's shining green at the moment camera setup up above there down on the bottom there's your type c port they're claiming 120 watt fast charging with a potential full recharge in 15 minutes Ooh, this is addictive on its own i'm just gonna be like sending those shoulder buttons up and down sim tray down in this location as well as your speaker unit if i pop open that sim tray then i find a dual sim card slot with a little gasket on it. Power switch on this side, so that is your fingerprint scanner as well. That's where my thumb lands anyways. Other side is where you'll find your volume rocker. Pablamo, that's your 120 watt fast charger and your USB type C cable. Now moving to the Pro model. Under the ordinary reality, an extraordinary journey shall be. <laughs> So you've also got your case. I think they're basically identical. You can see you have a cutout for your light, which is gonna shine through, and then obviously your camera. And I just noticed there's also fancy stickers, which are for mo. As you can see, well, this one's already flashing pink instead of green. This is a matte finish. It's like a sandblasted type of glass look. Camera unit, slight difference there in the flash module. This model has your uh, volume in the same location, and it has your shoulder buttons very similar it's textured on both of them but it's kind of nice because it just gives you a little bit more grip and it allows you to quickly differentiate from the power switch so you're not stuck blindly pressing a nothing button and you can hear the sound effect because this device is turned on here's a look at, at the display on the pro model now the specification here is 6.67 inch amoled 1300 nit peak brightness 2400 by 1080 is going to be your resolution. You have a symmetrical layout on the front as well. So you have your front facing camera right in the center. I'm going to remove the pre-installed 
screen protector. 120 watt fast charge, so that's kind of nice. Even if you get the standard model, you're still getting the beefy charger outside of the chip, not getting the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1. Not a massive difference. So real quick, let's check out the magnetic cooler. You know how it is with gaming phones. It can get a little bit warm. That's where this cooler comes in. You can have peak performance. Although I know they tend to work on the cooling attributes of these phones even without accessories. This actually has some weight to it. You see the fan unit there, type C connector on the bottom. Please remove the transparent film. We can do. It's funny, it's not really sticky. It's mostly just rubbery. Oh, right, type C cable because it needs power. Wipes, wet wipes. Oh, there's a magnetic plate. Interesting, wow. Do you wanna be in this, Jack? Uh. <laughs> then we dry, nice and clean. Then we're going to go with this one. Hello, everybody. Place this down. Then the cooler is just gonna slap on there like that. Whoa, strongly. Very strong connection. Ooh. Not gonna come off by accident. C to C. There you go. Check it out. We're cooling. It's going. This can reduce your temperatures on your phone by 23 degrees Celsius. Depending on where you live and how hot it is, this could be a very big deal. Like I said, for those extended gaming sessions, things are heating up. Now let's go ahead and check out the charge animation. As you know, they're stating 120 watt fast charge. The key is how fast does it recharge? And in this case, it's over 4,500 milliamp hours. And also what does that charging look like? Because I get excited about strange things. Quick charge and then 120 watt charge. And you can watch it go up in real time. But since the device is already past 91% charge, this is not the fastest portion of the recharge, but lovely nonetheless. Now, of course, thanks to the magic of this being a day later and this being a cooking show, we have a video clip of an actual full recharge from absolute dead, which is always a little tougher because it's like completely off. You can't even power it up. You can see the timer on the right hand side and then obviously the device. Now, another thing to note, like all these recharge tests, when you reach up and tap the screen, it's gonna use a tiny bit of battery life. So that could affect the record timing of the recharge, but it's worth it for the purpose of this test. So you can tell like, oh, after seven minutes, what do I have? Like after nine minutes, I have 64%, which actually that's really good. 75% after 11. What's going on here? Well, uh, uh, what's going on? Are we setting new records? 13 minutes, 83%. Are we gonna do it at 15? 15, we are 92. So just over 15 minutes, I'm guessing it'll be fully charged at around 17, 16, 17. Here he checks a lot and it's 100 by 18. Okay, so ridiculously fast. You must love these things these days. You get into those situations, it's inevitable where you need the quick juice, which is the key uh, type. It's the most important type. When you're in a rush, panic ensues. I'm at 4%. You don't have a battery bank. Boom, you hit the 120 in this case. Five minutes later, you're at 35%. That's probably enough for what you need to do. Okay, cool. Now also, obviously, this is a gaming phone. It has special abilities, primarily these shoulder buttons. I'm gonna go ahead and load up a bullet force here. So you pull down from the top corner and this tells you a lot of stuff in here. Your performance load, your FPS, of course, that's for the for just the menu here. Uh, how good your connection is, your Wi-Fi connection, that could be causing problems for you. Battery life, master control setup, and then your notifications and stuff are over here. You just, if you don't wanna have a call, anti mist touch for missed presses, the ability to monitor, your performance, you can see 1.4 gigahertz at the moment. And if I click on master control, this will showcase what you can do with the shoulder buttons. So it can be a single touch input, double bond, multiple clicks. You can bind them. I mean, it's nutty. Bind macros, magic press, motion sensing as well. This loud speaker also, holy. So you can have the uh, motion sensing capabilities of the device mapped to things like turning, movement, I mean, you can really dial this thing in. For me, the most fun and important are the shoulder buttons, which reminder are elevated via these textured buttons here. And it's an actual mechanical shoulder button. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and play. The audio on this thing, quite surprising. It's got some low end to it, it's loud. Bottom line, it's loud. Whoa, they're all over here. Why are they all standing over there? One shot, one shot. Through the trees! There we go. There we go. I got a UAV. Let's go. What do I do here? Got killed with I got the UAV. I don't even know how to use it. <laughs> Oh, at the same time, how dare you? How dare you? Too, too wait. You know what the main thing for me is? Let me tell you something, the main thing for me here. It's a comfort thing. You're not, you're not to uh, all of a sudden Superman. It's just for my hands. It's a more comfortable position to be for an extended period of time for an extended gaming session. I mean, it's similar to having a controller, a gaming specific peripheral. So that's cool. You can actually overclock this thing. Unleash all the performance potential of your phone. From the display perspective, you can lock your refresh all the way at 144 hertz. There's also high quality graphics enhancements. There's something called hunting mode. Colors are inverted to make it easier to spot hidden enemies. We can change our touch sensitivity, stability and accuracy. Edge anti mistouch also an option. So you can have only certain elements of the display enabled so that you don't press anything by accident. I mean, this is high level configurability. You have a voice changer for chat, network settings to limit background operations so that it's not doing a bunch of stuff in the background that could be taking away from your connection speed. It really can do as much or as little as you like in the gaming department. These buttons, these extra buttons can be utilized for shortcuts and productivity purposes as well. So like in this case, you have the shortcut for your flashlight, double click for flashlight. And the nice thing about this is this isn't gonna go off accidentally in your pocket because when you use your slider, to eliminate the button, you're not gonna double press accidentally. Highly configurable phone in general with extra buttons, you can utilize those as much or as little as you like. It's just a little bit more input versatility. Refresh rate ultimate. I've never seen refresh rate options demonstrated in this way where they actually show you the difference. Auto, that looks very smooth. Ultimate locks it at 144, ultra high, is 90 and standard is 60. A lot of options there. It's kind of the theme of the phone is options and versatility. Always on display, AMOLED display. Some signature options, analog clock options, kaleidoscope clock, digital, black shark specific backgrounds. So if I go ahead and lock it, you can see one of the kaleidoscope effects. You have date, time, and remaining battery life there. Oh, interesting. You can't, it's harder to do the used market online. Yeah. Because yeah. then you really got to inspect it. Yes, you do. So it's stereo. It's like a, it's a legit stereo as well. Your shoulders. Woo. Uh, you're going to get some heat you hear coming that? back at you. Listen to this. <laughs> anyway, yeah. So for a multimedia device, also very good. You've got a fairly big battery. You've got a really fast recharge, and then you have an AMOLED display, obviously up to 144 hertz. Then you have these really nice speakers. Uh, obviously you can use a headset, wireless or otherwise, or a speaker, but uh, you might not have to. You might be satisfied playing like that with one speaker for each ear on the device itself. So there it is. You have the Black Shark 5 and the Black Shark 5 Pro. Biggest difference is the chip that's inside. Starting at 549 for the Black Shark 5 and then all the way up to 999. These are USD prices for the max specification Black Shark 5 Pro, the one that I'm using here. Actually, this one's 899 because it's got 12 gigs of RAM. If you want 16 gigs of RAM, that's when you get up to 999 
USD. Maybe a little sweet spot 5 Pro, 8 gigs RAM, 128, 799, or Black Shark 5 with 12 gigs RAM for 649. Lots to choose from there depending on which spec is ideal for you. 550 to start, and then a thousand bucks at the very highest range.